If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on folks? It's Mr. Bucket List here, and today I'll be reviewing Dave & Buster's here in Tampa, Florida. Let's check it out. All right, let's get right to it. So as far as getting the table, it wasn't that hard. You can do a reservation online. Um, as you all can see, it's fairly empty in here, so I really didn't need one. Um, but you can do one online on the website or via open table. Now this was on a Tuesday afternoon, and the main reason why I went on a Tuesday is they currently have a special where all food is half off Monday through Thursday, and so I want to go ahead and try that offer. I ended up getting some additional deals as well, but um, just for reference, the meal that I got essentially was about $38, close to $40, and then of course they knocked it down to basically under $20, so it wasn't bad. Now before I get into the positives, one issue I did have was the menu, and so I initially wanted to get something called the Game Day Grub. I had saw this basically when I first decided to go here, like almost a week ago, and I was like, I'm gonna get this, gonna get this. When I got there, the girl told me that I couldn't order it because they had ran out of the pretzel dogs, so it included pretzel, hot dogs, um, sliders, and then also wings as well. And so what I basically had to do was almost do my own version of it. So I ended up getting the sliders, I got some boneless wings, and then I got these fries as well. Those sliders were amazing. That meat was so just juicy and tender for some sliders. Same thing with the wings. The wings were really good as well. The fries, I don't know, like just something about it. They were just kind of dried out and there's just the meat didn't taste right. So I really didn't enjoy the fries, but the other two items, they were very, very good. And then again, just a reminder that the food that you're seeing right now is half off Monday through Thursday. It does vary by location, but for the most part, I think on their website, all locations are trying to honor this deal. Another thing that really surprised me was the speed of the service. I mean, I literally ordered and probably about two minutes later, they came out with my food. I mean, I know these are all essentially appetizers, but that was a really plus for me, a big plus because I was just ready to play the video games and I was really hungry. Um, so that definitely was really cool. But before I get into the rating for the food and just the restaurant in general, I do have to talk about the arcade because this is Dave & Buster's. Now, this is actually a really cool location. I'm not sure if they're all like this, but again, this is in Tampa, Florida. This place was huge. I mean, they had pool tables, they had a full open bar, plenty of seating benches, and then they had this arcade. Um, now, as far as the games, wow. Um, so it was a pretty good variety. The only issue I had with the variety of the games were the fighting games. The only fighting game they had that I saw was that um, Injustice game. It was the first Injustice, and it was like the mobile version of it, but it had arcade sticks. It was just, it was terrible. I don't, can't remember if I recorded it or not. I'll show if I did, but. Um, I don't know why they had that in there. No Marvel vs. Capcom, no Street Fighter. None of the fighting games that people are accustomed to. They just had that one Injustice original mobile game. Um, but they did have games like uh, Mario Kart Arcade, Halo, House of the Dead. They had Cruise and Blast. Oh my god, I was so excited to play this game. You all, I'll be honest with you. I love this game so much at the arcade, I went and bought it the next day. Well, I actually had it delivered to my house the next day, and this is it right here. Yes, it was that serious. I had to buy this game. Cruising Blast. Um, they also had Daytona um, in a, Daytona USA, the Champion Edition, which has like the upgraded graphics and stuff. It was a pretty good size arcade. They even had like retro games like Pac-Man and Connect Four and Dig Dug stuff like that. It was pretty cool. So um, as far as the way the the options work, as far as the games goes, so you buy a certain amount of credits. All together, they gave me some special, so I ended up having like 400 something credits, and then each game was like, depending on the length of the game, the type of game it was, some games were like maybe um, like five or six credits a game, something like that. Again, I had over 400, and so I was literally like, I got tired of playing games. I was like, I literally, by the time I left, I still had about 200 and maybe 10, maybe 20. It was a lot of credits, and so um, I just, just kind of keep that in mind. For me, it was just me at this location, but if you have a family or something, maybe you all can share it and rotate the card and stuff like that. Um, but basically, you have your card that they give you. You can either use, either use your phone or you can use a digital card, well, an actual physical card, and you just scan it and tap it, and then it tells you how many credits it costs, how many credits you have left, and then you just start playing. So no quarters are involved. Everything is now digital and on that card or on your phone. Um, they do charge you a little fee to activate the card. I think it's like $2, and then the credits as well. Um, so, again, just the entire setup between the food and the games and stuff like that. The only negatives I had were I didn't have the actual meal I wanted to get, and then there was no good fighting games. But again, I was by myself, so that wasn't a really big deal. Um, outside of that, I would definitely say this is a must-do. Um, Dave & Buster's is something I've been trying to do for a long time, since I was a child. 
um, back when I was in um, Philly with my uncle, and he promised that we can go, and actually we did go. Now that I think about it, so we did actually go. So I haven't been since I was a child in Philly, and I was like eight or nine at the time, and so um, it's definitely a must do, especially if you can do Monday through Thursday with the half off food, and then they have like half off games, and they have a lot of different deals going on. I don't know if it's struggling or what, but um, I highly, highly recommend this location. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick um just review and tour of dave and busters here in tampa make sure to find a location near you and i'll see you soon